because see Whoopi Goldberg told me the salary she makes from The View and that hurt my feelings that you've been there for 10 years and you accept them paying you that and you telling me don't worry about the little one coming up god damn if I ain't got to be worried about you too because you accept that salary it makes it hard what I think is also interesting you mentioning um Oprah it seemed like definitely a disappointment to see someone that you looked up to the character didn't match your character of how what you felt was also important and I think about Whoopi Goldberg you being a black woman stand-up comedian and you going to her show and from what I um, kind of gathered she brought up the whole Netflix thing and you guys talked about black being blackballed on The View and backstage she tells you something in the regards of uh, don't worry about the other ones coming behind you, worry about yourself. How did you feel initially seeing someone that I'm assuming you looked up to pretty much tell you that they didn't care about you in a, in a sense? See, this is the part that's hard for me because there was some woman that gave a damn about me before I got here and that was Hattie McDaniels. That was Eartha Kitt, that was Ida B. Wells, that was Louise Beavers, that was those black women saying, I'm going to take these ass whippings so hopefully you won't have to take them. I'm going to take them calling me a to my face. I'll take them calling me a black I'll take them telling me, you better not step over this line. I'll take all of that so hopefully you won't have to. Patty LaBelle hugs me in a way, baby that that hug came from a place of love. That's Aunt Patty in the community. And when I first met that woman, she held on to me so tight. And I was one of the last people in line of hundreds of people that stood in line at a concert. And she hugged me like I was the first. So I hold on to those memories to make me say, let me make sure that when a little girl holds on to me, she feels the same way I felt when Patti LaBelle held on to me at a concert after hugging people for two hours. You hear me? Two hours. And she hugged me like I was the first person in line. So when ain't no cameras rolling, Patti LaBelle is Patti LaBelle. See, when I first met Patti LaBelle, I was going through my second divorce, right? and I found out what I had to pay. So I'm backstage, baby, drama, drama, going through it. That woman pulled me to the side and said, come here, little girl, what's wrong with you? Don't you ever let them see you fall apart. The one thing that man can take from you is your talent. Give him that money right now, give it to him. And you go out on that stage and you show your ass and you give the people in the back seat a hell of a show because they're the ones that really didn't have no money that's coming to see you. See, that's the kind I got. That's what I got filled with. I got filled with Valerie Simpson and Ashley and Simpson inviting me up to their home and saying, hey, baby. Let me tell you what it's supposed to be. When one get it, everybody get it. That's the era we came from. So I got those women filling me. I got Susan Taylor from Essence saying, listen. Don't bullshit it. When she walked away, Essence walked away. But when I got those women that pulling me up saying, hey, little sister, let me talk to you for a minute. So when I get Whoopi Goldberg on the flip saying, them little ones coming behind you. You better give a damn about you. That crushed me that day in her dressing room because see, Whoopi Goldberg told me the salary she makes from The View and that hurt my feelings that you've been there for 10 years and you accept them paying you that and you telling me, don't worry about the little one coming up. God damn if I ain't gotta be worried about you too because you accept that salary, it makes it hard for me. And how hard do you think it's gonna make for the one who ain't here yet because you accept that salary so does Stand in my sister's dressing room and she say to me, you can't be worried about that one coming up. Well, what if moms Mabley didn't worry about you? What if those ones didn't make it better for us? So I try not to take it personal, but it's personal because these are the women I look to. So I don't want the little girl who's not here yet, or a little girl right down the street at the juice bar that says, oh my goodness, that's Monique. I don't want her to walk away and say, that ain't who I thought she was.